Nice early morning start here at Honiton. There's a bit of wind about today, so I'm going to put my new swing, new ideas to test with a little bit of breeze. Best thing with golf, why we keep coming back. Situation changes so often every day, even between shots. Doing it in a simulator, doing it in my garden, doing it in practice swings is all great, but it's got to work in all different situations. I wonder how I'll get on. Got my launcher driver as well today. We're going to try it with the Cleveland. So I can take it over this left side this time. And off the rock. Down the middle, didn't really get it turning to the left like I wanted. Hopefully that won't run too far on that line. Good hit, but a little too high and a ooh, that way. 120 yards straight down wind now. Uh, I'm going to hit my 52. Very hard pin to get close to. So I'm going to go just left of it, maybe just beyond it. Accept the part. And that's just kind of my regular swing now. I don't need to use my feet differently. One thing that's constant is my grip. That is staying 10 fingers. How I push in the ground is to do with the number I want to hit. So I did just knock it past, basically hitting onto a big down slope. So good two putts from here needed. Straight down wind. Should be able to get close. If not, on with a big bend. Slightly forward T. Oh, that's a rip. Just stay about four yards left of that. It'll kick to the right. I don't think it was up the left quite enough, but hit that good. Trying to make a new move and slightly control shape now so I don't have the big high cut. So it's, just, it's now a number of thoughts, it's a new move. And rather than just letting impact happen, it's now a bit of, with my driver, trying to actually control delivery as well. This is where it starts getting really complicated. Tee shot landed, oh, just finished short of this bunker. Bit of room, hopefully. Bit of lockdown chipping skill. Should up and down. Into off the left now. So again, this is where I need to have my shape working. Any push cuts on this is going to go in the road. Ah, uh, did run through. I've missed the fairway, not by a huge amount, and the road on the right, wind off the left, I'm actually quite happy with where I've missed it. It's just, this hole does ask big questions. And when the wind is up, like it is now, definitely with the new technique, there's a bit of, I don't know what's gonna come out here. And there's something else that makes you maybe kind of wanna run away, isn't it, from new techniques? Because that doesn't feel as safe as old. Obviously nothing stops me going back to old as well, but, Flicking between techniques, certainly with one club like a driver, iron makes sense. Driver, mm, it's something I need to practice. 110, six iron, pitch and run. Oh, 
high, but that might be all right. Yeah, that's on. Popped a little bit. Front edge, take it. 25 foot up the hill, take it from where I was. It's a hard one to make or have a better chance of birdie at, but I play enough times I'm going to hit that fairway and get further up. And if I miss, I could get in trouble, but I feel like I've got more chance of being able to chip through from 100 yards. So I kind of feel like it's, oh, I'm just going to go for it. So into wind off the left again. Jumped over onto a different hole. Oh, let's get out of the way of the greenkeepers. Um, yeah, shape controlling again is so important. Anything drifting is going to be in trouble. It's my bad shot, so new movement and controlling delivery in a more precise way. Mm. Golf is hard. No, that's good. Perfect and back. Yeah, and the wind is so strong. Hmm, perfect, not perfect. So the green's around here. Fairway's only just here. It's just the wind is so strong. I often forget how windy or high up we are at Honiton, so the wind is just uber, uber strong. It's about 200. You have to move it left to right. New swing ideas. Can I do it? 189. So I'm going to hit from 6 iron. It's going to move it about 20 yards. Not sure if it's going to reach. I've overdone it. I think I've overdone it. So they've just put the fertilizer down, you're gonna see on the screen. So this will be our last hole that the greenkeepers get on. Um, I definitely overcut it. Learning patterns. It's like a new movement like this is like learning all your little intricacies with different clubs and different winds from different lies kind of over again. And I think there lies the challenge. It, it's a big challenge sometimes, isn't it? Oh, that sat right up. Lockdown chipping challenge there now. That is like that far in the air. Like it's like this far in the air. Oh, be better, Mark. Yeah, it's short and a little weird. Uh, it's done all right actually. It's more left. Did quite well considering. Need more practice on those. It kind of skipped on. It's a birdie pat. Misread. Let's get back and look at the strokes gain, shall we? Is it worth doing this still? So some interesting stats from that round. So my average driving distance is 286. Obviously I'm a 262 carry. People forget that I think. So that's rolling out to 286. Longest is like 297. So that is slightly higher for me. Quite happy with that. So there is more distance coming out of those drives, but I'm only hitting one in four fairways. It needs to get tighter. Then the flip side to that is I am still able to hit greens or get close enough to the greens to be able to score because I am moving maybe that little bit further up. So strokes gained on driving for that round, for instance, was a gain of 0.6 against a Tour Pro. I mean, that's putting me in a really good place. Unfortunately, my approach play wasn't that great. So losing 2.2 against the Tour Pro. But remember, one of them I was having to bend right around a tree because that driver just left me back in the rough a little bit. Another one I was bending under a tree. So I was hitting from a distance out and having to punch it under a tree. So the potential to be better is there with that distance. It might 
just not be shown enough if I continue to be a little wild with it. So it'll be this balancing act always between trying to send it further, but keeping some kind of accuracy so my approach play can benefit from that. If my approach play starts becoming worse, then I'm gonna be really balancing if I wanna make sure I hit the fairway or I wanna try and send it out there. At the moment, the 0.6 gains driving while missing a few fairways is quite exciting me. And that extra little bit of distance, so on some of the par fours when I got really close to the green, where normally I'd have been maybe 10, 15 yards further back hitting a bigger pitch in, the basic little chip did feel like I could capitalize and make the birdie that I made. And really promising for me, my short stuff, so my approach short play, chipping that kind of thing is gaining 3.2. Obviously this is a tiny data set and I'm trying to do more and more and more to get a bigger picture. It's a tiny little data set of a few holes, but keep peering in at my data like this, keep peering at my performance is really allowing me to stay focused on where I want to improve rather than letting that emotion always override because sometimes the emotion doesn't actually let you see the facts. Post comments down below. It's interesting isn't it? Driving slightly wild in places but not too bad just a little bit loose. Definitely trying to move it further up there. Is it the right decision or not? Time will tell. What do you think in that comment section down below?